Hey there, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Vocal Coach here. In today's video, this is completely new, completely different. I'm gonna be singing every single note possible in my voice. Fun little fact for you to know, I started singing when I was 14. To those who are like, well, you know, I've really been singing all my life. Or, or those who are like, you know, ever since I remember, I was always singing, so now I still sing. Well, newsflash, not everybody is really born naturally with such a phenomenal gifted voice. I'm a testament of that. I started singing at 14, and trust me, at 14, man, no one would have wanted to hear me sing one minute longer or not even a couple seconds because that's how bad my voice was and that's how small my range was and I couldn't really sing so I'm a testament of vocal improvement and vocal performance being able to grow that and to eventually get my degree in vocal performance as well so definitely yeah you can achieve it if you want to be able to sing better you can definitely achieve that so for this video I was like you know what I'm going to sing every single note I possibly can from the lowest note all the way to the highest one. The last time I checked, I had about, I'd say, like a three and a half, four octave range. So right there, that's way more than normal, right? Like usual. So I wanna clarify some things before I actually start doing this. The four octave range, what I mean by that is I am including low, low resonating growl. You could maybe pass for a note, but it's really just a very, very low growl that's phonating at a specific wavelength. In other words, the lowest note I can possibly make sound. I'm also including my mixed voice. I'm also including my falsetto. I'm also including soprano notes, soprano sounds. And the highest, highest thing I'm including is whistle tone. Yes, whistle tone. So I'm gonna include all these notes in this, and you're also going to hear the volume might change in certain notes notes because I'm going to try to increase the volume to the lowest note so you can hear it actually resonate and know that you know I'm not faking the note. Let's just see what my voice can possibly do. Okay, so I know the title says vocal coach sings every possible note in his range, which I did. I technically did. I sang every note I could that's supposed to be sung phonetically, like normal, like a normal person would. But what, I, what I'm showing you is that the extent of my range, when you say vocal range, you just have to explain, describe what. What is that vocal range? Is it the range that your voice can phonetically make a sound where you hear the tone and the note and it can be verified on a piano or a keyboard where you hear like, for example, uh, that's phonetically me hearing that note and re re reciprocating it and singing it. Or is it what is the highest sound you can make and how can you produce that sound? Yeah. 
Would anyone sing that high, possibly all the way up in those areas? I mean, there's been a few who have done it, of course, but when it comes to professional singing and actually utilizing it within a song correctly, professionally, not really, not that often. It's more used for, you know, that guy that you've seen on social media and YouTube who sang like the highest, I forgot what note it was, but it was in the eighth octave and it blew everyone's mind away and he has the Guinness World Record for it. Yeah, being able to sing, make sounds that high and that low, that's, I guess you can use that subjectively for some weird avant-garde music if you want to. But when it comes to singing, no matter what your range is, definitely you can work on extending it. There's ways to do that. I mean, trust me, for me to say phonetically that I can make sounds in five octaves, that's just, I never would have thought about that when I was 14. There was no way possible. I wasn't even close to doing that. But somehow my voice has developed and extended to be able, being able to make sounds in five octaves. So yeah, definitely it's achievable, it's doable. And you know, who knows, maybe one day you can make a fool out of yourself on YouTube like I just did. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe and check out my channel. Also go ahead and like this video so that way other people can check it out. And if you're interested in watching some more of my content, right here, that's a good choice. Or there, great selection. You know, you should check it out. So uh, thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.